The scientific community is in shock as a result of disturbing results from the James Webb Telescope. When an amazing structure is in the spotlight, the Big Bang is questioned. Are you prepared to learn the truth about the universe's creation? In this fascinating film, get ready for a surprising revelation. The James Webb Space Telescope has made a surprising discovery that fundamentally alters our understanding of the universe since its launch in July 2022. The Big Bang Theory is now under doubt because it finds a structure that, by earlier theories, should not exist. What exactly was there at first? We must go back in time to a period when time and space as we know them existed in order to comprehend the early universe. The Big Bang Theory states that all potential stayed in a perfect state of equilibrium. This condition equates to nothingness when measured through our physical means. The cosmos then began to emerge from a single starting point by a small shift. Although this point was very little, it was the same as every other point that has ever existed and will ever exist. Immediately after the Big Bang, cosmic inflation started. As an unfathomably hot and dense soup, the early universe shot out to the sides. We don't know if space was always there or if this is the first time it has ever existed. Inflation began in its initial phase, which equates to a 90-fold multiplication. At the time of the Big Bang, space grew from the size of an atom to that of a golf ball in a fraction of a second. The cosmos then continued to expand to the present day. Although the universe only slightly cooled, it was too hot to create matter or light for 400,000 years, according to earlier estimations. It is thought that the epoch of light formation lasted for more than 500 million years. The universe's earliest stars began to develop, at first still glowing alone or assembling themselves into chaotic, ad hoc star clusters. It is believed that spirals and disks, which are high-order galactic formations, did not appear until one billion years or even later. However, at least six galaxies have recently been found by the James Webb Space Telescope that did not fully form until 500 million years after the Big Bang. This poses a problem for science. The University of Minnesota has even made the discovery of a little galaxy that despite its small size has produced a surprisingly high number of new stars. The galaxy's volume is only one million that of the Milky Way, yet when it first began to give out the light we see today, it created roughly the same number of stars per year. Compared to what was previously believed, this paints a drastically different picture of the early cosmos. Scientists can better understand how and when the earliest stars and galaxies during the universe's dark period emerged by studying these early galaxies. The topic of whether the universe indeed began 13 billion years ago, as previously thought, or whether we also need to fully alter the universe's age is one that is currently being raised. The James Webb Space Telescope has sparked a cosmic revolution. Scientists from all across the world realize that the James Webb Space Telescope, or J. Wosti for short, would revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos when it was launched. It was undoubtedly coveted, which is why around $10 billion were invested in it by NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European Space Agency. The reception telescope had to peer even further after Hubble had been taking us closer to the immensity of space for more than 20 years. The James Webb has a minimum age of 13.5 billion years. As a result, although Webb's view is clearer, the new telescope does not gaze much farther than its predecessor Hubble could. By observing the slight changes in an object's light emission, known as redshifts, researchers can investigate objects that are billions of light years away. The measurements can be examined more accurately the sharper the image is. Naturally, scientists were eager to use the new telescope to gain a better understanding of the stars and galaxies that existed early after the universe's creation. One of the primary objectives of the JWST mission is to study the early stars and galaxies. Most ancient black hole, using the James Webb Telescope, researchers have made yet another astounding discovery. They have found a structure that might be the universe's earliest black hole. The first structures suggestive of a black hole have been found, thanks to the telescope's super powerful sensors, approximately 570 million years after the hitherto postulated Big Bang. Black holes are remnants of ancient, extinct stars. This amazing structure is also a supermassive black hole, which is an additional bonus. Therefore, it is conceivable that numerous black holes have already collided and fused into one in this location. An extremely large and powerful star exploding is another scenario that could occur. The stars that generated the black hole at the conclusion of its life must have been substantially older, though, if these events occurred 570 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers already know that the lifespans of the early stars were probably not very long. 
Several hundred thousand or perhaps millions of years could have been all that it took for blue supergiants to burn away. This does not, however, explain why a black hole of such size should exist so soon after the Big Bang. Another very different narrative is provided by the discovery of six galaxies that were already highly structured at the alleged beginning of time. Such galaxies develop over time. It's likely that our own galaxy was originally little more than a collection of a few stars. Black holes were created by exploding stars, and as they interacted, they became bigger and bigger. The enormous black holes eventually started to draw more and more stars into their area. Galaxies are created when the surrounding structures are pulled down by their gravity into disk or spiral patterns. Billions of years passed during this procedure. How black holes in the cosmic twilight could have gotten so big so fast is a mystery. And for a long time to come, astronomers will be preoccupied with the subject of how fully developed galaxies came to be 200 or 300 million years ago. When a group of researchers looked for the earliest light signs of star formation, they found the galaxy CRS-19 CRS-19 in Abel's data. In the scientific community, this initial light is known as the Lyman alpha emission. The ionization of neutral hydrogen produces this radiation. Previous theories postulated that a neutral hydrogen nebula covered the early universe for a considerable amount of time, preventing light from traveling. This hydrogen had to be ionized in order for light to move freely. Science hasn't fully understood this RU ionization process until recently. The JWST testbed includes all theories and space models. Maybe everything the researchers have assumed up to this point is incorrect. Again, the astronomers were in for a shock as JWST's incredibly potent infrared detector was able to view CRS-19 and the supermassive black hole in this old galaxy considerably closer than Hubble. This galaxy showed evidence of light from star formation and a black hole, whereas galaxies of this age typically only emit light from early star formation. The black hole itself doesn't produce light, but dark giants have a unique technique of attracting matter to themselves. Furthermore, this stuff glows, CRS-19 showed both types of light emission, and this situation shouldn't occur at all. More riddles than ever before are currently facing scholars. These findings call into question decades of study in a number of astronomical and cosmological fields, need recounting these and require rewriting of textbooks. Imagine that you have just received your high school diploma and are celebrating. Someone then approaches you and informs you that everything you learned in physics, arithmetic, and chemistry was incorrect. That is precisely how scientists all over the world have felt since the JWST began returning amazing but contradicting data to Earth. In the interim, the nation's discoveries have only continued. In the early cosmos, more unusually big black holes have been found. One of these, J1342 plus 928, was found to have a supermassive black hole 690 million years after the Big Bang. This early single quasar galaxy has a central mass of 800 million suns, a second black hole, disproved by the Big Bang, was discovered in the galaxy J313 to 1806. It was discovered 670 million years after the Big Bang and has a supermassive black hole that is 1.6 billion times larger than the Sun. Although the Big Bang theory has been effectively refuted in the eyes of many astronomers and space enthusiasts, the scientific community continues to reject this assertion. The Big Bang idea has appeared to be consistent for almost 100 years and numerous additional measurements, like the universe's expansion and cosmic background radiation, have appeared to support these hypotheses. The Big Bang theory has not completely been given up by scientists. After all, it is entirely plausible to believe that the cosmos just began far earlier than we currently believe. Our universe could be 15 or 20 billion years old. It is also possible that the early universe functioned very differently. It may have cooled more quickly and included stars, galaxies, and black holes earlier. A group of scientists from many countries are currently attempting to link the latest discoveries to established hypotheses. Will they be successful, or will JWST finally disprove the hypothesis of the Big Bang? In a few months, or perhaps only a few years, we'll learn the answer. We appreciate you tuning in today. Finally, please share your thoughts about the Big Bang. In light of these details, do you find the idea to be plausible?